We've got our Total Boat Works gift back in the shop again here, and it's also back on eBay again. We had listed it on eBay and something went wrong. We don't even know what it was, but we decided we'd just relist it, and we've got people bidding on it again, and it's moving up. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, you know, I'd like to talk to you some more about the skiff. I mean, whoever the potential owner is, I'd like to have them understand that uh, the skiff could be altered in many, many ways. People ask me all the time about thwarts, about seats, all kinds of different things. And, uh, you know, all those things can be done. You know, uh, a seat is one thing. A thwart is something else. A thwart in a boat like this is not a bad idea. It helps hold the boat into shape. The boat doesn't need it. I don't care for thwarts and things in a boat like this because they get in your way about moving about the boat, especially if it's a commercial boat. You don't want all those things in your way, that's for sure. The other thing about launch seats alongside the gunnels here is, is then you have a hard time accessing the gunnels. And people always ask me why I keep the boat open like this. Why is the boat so open like this? Well, it's got many more uses this way. And uh, the things that you might be missing, like seats, you can always just sit on a deck chair or put a five gallon bucket upside down or whatever it is that you want to do and you get to face in any direction you want. So we kind of like it this way here. It's universal this way. It's very easy to use like this. And uh, I think that uh, people that aren't used to driving skiffs like this, it wouldn't hurt for them to have like a safety line on or something and not be quite as bold as I was when I drove it. But, you know, each to their own. And that's the kind of the way, that's the kind of guy I am. So you've seen me now. There's other things I'd kind of like to talk to you guys about, and um, we've requested some things from people along the way here, like tree crooks and different things, and people have responded. Fantastic, you know, and uh, we're going to play around with that one again here because we're looking for a new shop, and uh, I'd kind of like to keep this shop and uh, probably keep it forever. I only live just around the corner right here, but uh, we're looking for a place that may be two at least to three times the size of this. And uh, there's special requirements, though, because we're not just building boats. What we're trying to do is make quality videos, and we need to have a place that doesn't have massive amounts of industrial noise next door or cars going by or, or these different things. So it's kind of a special need that we have, and uh, I hope that it's a special person that gets in touch with us and has a special place for us that we might be able to have our new home or at least a home in that area. Now, I'd kind of love it to be close to my area where I live, but uh, it's not a requirement. We'll look at anything, and uh, we'd really appreciate it if someone would get to us with some really nice quality space, like I said. Now, the last thing that I want to mention to you is that there's going to be an announcement reasonably soon on tips from a shipwright about season two. Now, it's going to be the build of another boat, obviously. That's what I do best. And uh, it's going to be exciting because there's going to be different types of woodwork, all kinds of different things to learn. I'm going to learn stuff myself because I've never built a boat exactly like it. So it's going to be fun for me. And uh, there's going to be a lot to learn, like I said. There's going to be excitement during the build, you know, because I'm going to be excited about building it. And then I guarantee you that there's going to be excitement at the end of the series because we're going to take the boat out and test it like we did with this skiff right here. So I'm kind of holding that information back a little bit but you're gonna know right away.